Uh, we say that we haven't changed, but to be honest, lots of things have changed a lot. And uh, if you look at the records, first of all, it's difficult to get to know the history of Rioja because we only have 142 years. And, uh, and it's difficult to find out that when people ask me, how many vintages you have made in history? I wish I could reply that question because we do not know exactly. Because if you start in 1877, our great grandfather didn't save wines at that time. We don't know if he didn't save because he was dealing with bulk wines. He didn't know enough about wine. He didn't know that wine age. He didn't know if he had a future in wine. So uh, even when uh, I met my grandfather for many years, he was 96 when he died and I was 17. I'm, of course, lots of these questions I ask my father and my grandfather, ever since they are not here with us, I question myself more things and the whole world as ask us more things that maybe one day I will be able to reply because we, the nice thing is that we have a lot of records and we have personal letters which many of these questions are written more in personal letters like you can find a document on which my great grandfather was telling somebody oh it's a snowing or we had a big spring frost or things like that or oh, I want to do this or that or those. We know that he started to save wines because the oldest bottle that we store is 1885. But for instance, I keep on calling the sister of my father who is 83. I call regularly another sister who lives in Chile and is 92, but she, both of them have very good memory, but not uh, they were not working in the every day of the business. So they remember certain things, but not everything. But I keep on asking them, for instance, that um, uh, do you remember this type of wine? And all of them agree of the fact that uh, the weather, for instance, has always changed. And wines used to have more fixed acidity uh, 60 years ago. So when I was a student in winemaking, at that time, and that was a long time ago, almost 30 years, uh, 30 years now, uh, the main worry in Rioja was not losing acidity. And everybody was studying the potassium, but nobody was studying, nobody studied at that time the weather change. And of, I don't deny that the weather has changed, but the weather has always changed. Mm. Uh, uh, according to our records, uh, the alcohol content in our wines, the levels of acidity in our, our wines uh, still are fresh, naturally fresh our wines because we are based in Rioja Alta. All our vineyards are in Rioja Alta and it's the altitude, uh, 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 500 meters, but it's the latitude uh, which limits the hours of insulation. So our wines still have high acidity, but in addition, we use Mazuelo, which is Cariñena, we use Graciano, and both of these grape varieties were used historically to give color to the wines and acidity. The Graciano adds acidity because it has a very long maturation cycle and remains as it with our hours of insulation. Now, these hours of insulation have changed, but to be honest, we don't have the records mm. because we don't have the measurement mm. of how many hours of insulation they, there were mm. 100 years ago. Uh, we have a lot of records of 100 years ago in terms of, in terms of uh, um, uh, if it was raining, the wind, and uh, we have the records of the, um, uh, the uh, the big weather uh, problems, big snow, big spring frost, because on a daily basis, they used to report to our great grandfather. But we have records of daily basis on around, mm, around mm, mm, 1900, 1900, before from 
1899 until 1900, they used to report on a weekly basis. Mm. And then we have all the records from 1877 until 1899, but uh, that we find sometimes of uh, my great grandfather used to record the, uh, the pressure, la presión atmosférica, mm -hmm. the atmospheric pressure. Uh, the, bar the barometer, because uh, so they they did not record the temperature maxima and minima. They record the barometer on a daily basis. How the barometer moves, the humidity. Hmm. Uh, there are things that we don't know. Uh, and having said that, we are one of the few that has changed the list. All that we try not to change because we follow a maxima. I don't know exactly how you say it in English. If something works, why should you fix it? Yeah. Why should you change <laughs> if it ain't it? broke, don't fix it. <laughs> don't fix it, exactly. So at the end, si algo funciona, ¿por qué vas a cambiar? You know, if something um, works and we like the, we like the style of wine that mm. has made Rioja, famous in the world, because it's a distinctive, distinctive style, mm. because it has a personality, because it's part of the history, and it's part of Rioja, but mm. it's part of our history. We have made Rioja known. So that's why uh, for us it's very important, and also more importantly, because we have many, many customers who say, please, 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 do not change this style. So mm -hmm. that's basically the reason. But um, we work with more technology. Mm. Uh, funnily enough, nowadays the big revolution or technological revolution is take, taking place place in the in the vineyards. But all is taking place because we all have this little machine. This little machine tell us the weather forecast. On a daily basis. When I was a kid, you only could read the newspaper, the weather forecast, and my father he used to be always very quiet during the news because the weather forecast was the most important. <laughs> because they have to take decisions on the work in the vineyard. And you could trust today's maximum three days, no more than mm. that. Nowadays, we have the weather by the hour. So even if you want to, Obtain the information, continue working like you have always done. It's impossible to do that. We are in the 21st century and we have to make wines with the grapes that nature gives us. Mm -hmm. Whether they are similar or not to the grapes that our uh, ancestors or my father or uh, the, the, the previous generation's uh, uh, harvest is something that we cannot assure or guarantee. Mm. Of course. <laughs> um, and your, your wines do age beautifully. We're trying uh, 64 white here. Can you tell me a bit about, because obviously you hold back your red wines for a long time before releasing, um, much longer than most producers in the world, I imagine. <laughs> um, but tell me about the process of making your white wine and why it's so capable of, of aging so well. Well, um, uh, what we do for both with our white wines and, and our red wines is a rarity nowadays, but for us it's not, because it's what Rioja historically used to do. Mm. It was absolutely normal. So still for us it's normal, because somehow we have lived when we were kids, doing exactly this and using patient as the most important technology for stabilizing our wines. But uh, in particular in Lope de Heredia, in our house, we make wines with capability, with a, a, a vocation to age, but it was part of the character of Rioja. Mm. So it all starts, is the terroir, is the type of soil, is the climate, we have a beautiful, perfect climate for making wines with capability of aging because we have an incredible gap 
between the temperature of day and night, especially during the months of the maturations of all the polyphenols, the color components, and all the and all the preservatives of the wine, the acidity, the sugar, so which are for us the months of August, September, and October. It's a tradition to start harvesting in Rioja Alta still nowadays, October the 12th. I'm talking Rioja Alta. And, um, and uh, this gives an incredible vocation to age. And then, in addition, the way we work in the cellar, using patience, as I mentioned, and the way we work in the vineyards, and the way, you know, how we use good corks that seal very well, is all this uh, the, the, uh, is all focus on a, on a storing wine, not that much on collecting wine, is focus on people who really are regular drinkers, wine lovers, who have good cellars, good good conditions of uh, of um, of, of um, storing wine, that the wines have to be capable and this is possible with white wines as well. Our white wines are made like reds with the skin contact to obtain the preservatives that are, are going to allow them to age. So for us, it's not uh, something very special. It's something that, uh, that we are familiar with. And uh, there are many young wines in the market. So for us, it's good to offer to the market something different Although a good age wine has always been a great young wine. No? I mean, it has to be good when it's young. That's why. Excellent. Thank you very much.